It's France versus Belgium with Didier Deschamps and Roberto Martinez's sides battling it out for a place at the World Cup final. St. Petersburg hosts the pick of the two semi-finals with the favorite to win the final set to emerge from Tuesday night's game. With an array of stars on display and crucially Martinez's commitment to free-flowing attacking football, we are set for an enthralling game. Deschamps' dreary football has got the job done, but despite the ease in which they have managed to reach this stage, Les Blias still have much to prove. A kind group stage was followed by a poor Argentina outfit in the last 16, and a Uruguay side deprived of one of their two superstars in Edinson Cavani. The Red Devils on the other hand have won all their games, beaten England with their B-side, and stepped up to stun favourites Brazil in the quarter-finals We can't wait for this one join us for all the live update from the Krastowski Stadium 11-24 Belgium take team walk in St. Petersburg, Belgium Have taken their game day walk as a team in St. Petersburg An overcast day in the second city in Russia, but that can't hide the smiles on Roberto Martinez's side's faces The countdown is well and truly on with just over seven hours until kick-off 11-12 France training the French camp is in good spirit ahead of today's game Man City star Benjamin stretched with Man United midfielder Paul Pogba on the St. Petersburg Stadium pitch Didier Deschamps then used the centre circle for a ball exercise 10.32 Belgium's front pages Belgium's front pages are slightly more feisty, with the devil's fork illustrated next to the French cockerel Even Boris Johnson is shifted to one side on the news front pages with Eden Hazard the big star Can the golden generation rubber stamp their legacy 920 France's front pages Here are the front pages in France today as they prepare for the World Cup semi-final Half-brothers says liberation, while La Voix du Nord says simply objective final 810 Kevin De Bruyne makes Kylian Bapp admission Kevin De Bruyne has revealed he did not have a clue who Kylian Bapp was last year But the Manchester City and Belgium midfielder has admitted the Paris Saint-Germain teenager is now a world star who will be at the top for 15 years Says De Bruyne, he's become a star in France, but when I was playing against him for City against Monaco he'd only played 10 matches He hadn't played a lot of football, and to tell the truth I didn't know him Now he's playing for a great French team, and in the Champions League He's a different player now, and he will be a star for the next 15 years He's had a fantastic year and he can even improve if that's possible, so yes he will be a danger to us, but we are going to try and stop him from playing, 